welcome back. Um, we've got our cast on and I'm going to be talking about basic knit stitch today, which is um, sometimes referred to as garter stitch. Um, so we've cast on. If you need to info on that, check out my casting on video. I'll pop a little link in the top there. Um, and just to recap, we have got wool that needs six millimetre needles. It's a chunky wool, which makes life a lot easier for learning. And I'm using bamboo knitting needles, which is my preference. Um, so let's start. Knitting is easier than casting on, you'll be glad to hear. <laughs> so we pop the needle again to the back of the stitch, just like the uh, proper cast on. To the back of the stitch there. And we go round the stitch from the back like that. And then we do the same look for the stitch but this time once we've got there it's super easy you literally drag it off and that's it that's one done doesn't seem hard enough does it <laughs> so through the back of the stitch round find the loop off you go super easy Back of the stitch, round there. Now I've just realised this is all a bit of a blur because I haven't got my glasses on. <laughs> I'm trying to knit blind. So there you go. Oh, that's better. <laughs> right, through the back of the stitch, round, just like with the cast on. Find the loop and then push it off. So this is knitting, basic knitting. All the stitches have names. When you see this in a pattern, it will be called garter stitch. And that's when you do every row knitting this basic knit stitch. So through the back of the loop, round that way. There it is. And push off. Back of the loop, round, there it is, and push off. So I'm going to quietly knit here for a minute and then we'll, cut, we'll catch up and do a, a, another slow row in a moment. So when you get to the end of the row, I tidy it up so you know what you're doing. You've got your, your line of knit there, that's the beginning, look, you can see it forming. And then you just swap hands with the needles. And you start over. Let's have a little count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got the ten. That may not be the case after a few rows for you, just because it's just normal. You get muddly and it all seems so simple when I show it, but I've been doing this now for about eight to ten years. So, so through the back of the, the loop, I'm going to go a little bit quicker on this row. Round. There he is off it goes so just just so you can see the knitting process and then i'll slow down for the next row now i need to have a tug on my ball of wool <laughs> there it is i made a lovely jumper with this ball, this wool um with bat wing sleeves i have to pop a photo up but it's so fun to wear and it's really good value as well because it comes in nice big balls. I think it's 200 gram balls. So mostly they're 50 grams. That gives you an idea that you get a lot more value when you're trying to make a jumper. It takes two or three, I think. It's really good. So there we go. I've done another 10. Swap hands with the needles. It's always worth a little safety hand at the top there. So you don't have a disaster all falling off. So we're progressing, look. And you can see it's slightly more holy than it would be if you were using this for a project because my needles are six and a half because I, I've got so many needles and I, I was hunting in a haystack earlier. So let me check. I'm still on camera. I am. So through the back, take the wool from the working, the working ball of wool round and hold it there. This one comes into action, finds the loop, 
and off. Oh, that's so much easier, isn't it, than casting on through the back. There it goes. And then that one, that one can rest, holding the wool there. This one takes over. All it has to do, bibbo, and off it goes. Round. There it is. Off it goes. Round there. Hand can rest. This one starts up. See, but using slightly bigger needles, it does make it the work that much looser and easier to look at. And it really doesn't matter because you're not making anything. So if it's a little bit holy, it's just to your advantage, really. You can see it's nice even gaps. It's not a, a mistake hole. <coughs> Excuse me. So through the back of the needle, round, hold it. End of that one's job. This one takes over. There it is. And off it goes. So if you want to go for 6.5 needles for 6 millimeter wool, that might be helpful. Through the back there. Round. End of job. This one takes over. There it is. And then off it goes. Now the trick when you're doing the off it goes, I'm holding on to the rest of them because it's, woof, it can all go and it's like, oh no. <laughs> so through the back of the the hole there, round the needle, end of that one's job. This one starts up, finds the hole, hold the knitting, just one goes. <laughs> it's so easy to go, <laughs> oh no. So through the back of the needle, loop round, find the loop, hold the rest, off it goes. That probably should be part of the part of the manoeuvre for a while for you. You saw I did it naturally without thinking about it. So, round, there it is, hold the rest of the knitting, off it goes. Last one on this row, and off it goes. So that's three rows now, I think. You can see we're getting quite a nice, I love this wool, look how pretty it is. We're getting a nice little bit of knitting there. So if you kept doing that until you got the 10, you have a little square. So I'm going to keep going for a little bit now. You happy? You can join me if you like, or you can whiz back. Um, pop in the comments if there's uh, any questions or concerns, <laughs> anything I can possibly help you with. I'm happy to do an extra tutorial. Um, if there's something that's not obvious, just let me know. I'm just here with my wool. I can do anything you want. Um, so we'll whiz on to a little bit more and we'll get up to, to the square. And then the next video, I'll show you how to cast off. So I'll whiz to this one and then I will do another slow row for you. And then you probably want to rewind and start again. So happy knitting. Thank you for joining me. And um, I hope it's helped. Right, going slow to the back of the knitting round there we go it's amazing how instinctively you get to do all this i'm holding that knitting on look without even thinking about it to the back of the knitting round there's the loop off it goes so it's just putting the time in now to get this so it's second nature to you. And if you manage to do a nice little square, I'll show you how to cast off in the next video. Right, cheerio.